which is going to be oxidation of two carboxylic acid. Now we know, yeah, when when you have primary alcohol, okay, when you oxidize, you are going to oxidize to become aldehyde. And aldehyde can be further oxidized to become carboxylic acid. Okay, so secondary alcohol can be oxidized to become ketone, cannot be further oxidized. Okay, so generally we know that, oh, carboxylic acid after this, uh, they are not going to be oxidized. Yeah, this is what we have learned last time. Okay, under AS, okay, but under A2, okay, the oxidation okay, can happen for carboxylic acid but only two carboxylic acids that we need to learn, yeah, which is going to be one. Number one is going to be methanoic acid. Now, methanoic acid, H, okay, C, double bond, O, O, H, okay, is going to be uh, oxidized, okay, it, uh, because it's a stronger reducing agent. What is stronger reducing agent? Okay, reducing agent, something will reduce others, but at the same time, they get oxidized. Uh, because of that, yeah, they have tendency to get oxidized. Okay, so it can undergo further oxidation. Okay, during that oxidation, they are going to give you carbon dioxide. It means when I oxidize, okay, I am going to get carbon dioxide. Okay, so if you have carbon dioxide, of course, the rest will be uh, H2O. Yeah, so it can be oxidized by what? Okay, we say that we are uh, generally when we look at a uh, strong oxidizing agents, okay, these are the strong oxidizing agent KMNO4, SCD5, and K2Cr2O7. SCD5, these are generally strong oxidizing agents. Okay, but methanoic acid is a very strong reducing agent until okay, they can be even oxidized by very weak oxidizing agents, okay? What are the weak oxidizing agents? You see, yeah, when I have alcohol to change into aldehyde, when I have alcohol to change into carboxylic acid and so on, okay, what I will use, I will use strong oxidizing agent, KMNO4, okay, K2Cr2O7, yeah? But last time, okay, under uh, carbonyl compounds, we have learned that, okay, you can actually test for carbonyl compounds, okay, using uh, failing or tolan. yeah? Because failing and tolan, okay, will detect aldehyde, Okay, Ke uh, ketone will not uh, give you positive reaction. And how they work? Basically, because aldehyde can be oxidized. So if aldehyde can be oxidized, they are going to be oxidized into what? They are going to be oxidized into carboxylic acid. Okay, so it means that we know that we do not need to use KMNO4 or K2Cr2O7 to oxidize uh, aldehyde to carboxylic acid, like single step, yeah, we no need. Okay, we can actually use okay, uh, mild oxidizing agents like uh, failing, yeah. Uh, we can actually use uh, tolan, yeah, they are mild. Okay, but I cannot change primary alcohol to become carboxylic acid, okay, by using failing or tolan. Yeah, that is very important. Okay, but now, okay, you are changing carboxylic acid to something. So here, similar, you know, one step only, okay? It means that you do not need to even use KMNO4 or K2Cr2O7. You can just use tolan or uh, tolan or failing, okay? Still, okay, the oxidation can happen. You do not need to have a strong oxidizing agent. That's the meaning. So they say that the reaction, okay, can be even formed by warming with mild oxidizing agent, such as failing and tolan, yeah? So what are the use of failing and tolan region? Last time, yeah? Okay, failing, okay, and tolan is used to identify uh, aldehyde. Okay, identify aldehyde. Okay, uh, if you want to identify aldehyde compared to ketone, yeah, we use failing or tolan. Yeah, so failing solution, if you forget what is failing solution and so on, you see, yeah, failing solution is used to distinguish aldehyde and ketone. Okay, it's an alkaline solution containing copper two ions. Okay, so it's an oxidizing agent. Yeah, so if it is oxidizing agent, they will oxidize others. Okay, but they get reduced. Okay, how they get reduced? Okay, copper two plus is going to change into copper 
one yeah copper one or to be exact copper uh, one oxide okay cu2o okay so this formation of cu2o yeah is going to be this is blue in color okay copper one okay when they join with the oxygen in water they are going to form copper one oxide okay copper one oxide is going to be opaque red, uh, red or orange or we call it brick red precipitate yeah brick red precipitate okay when warmed with aldehyde okay so what gives you the opaque red and orange precipitate this one copper one oxide yeah so copper one oxide is responsible for that okay it means that we can see from two okay become one oxidation number plus two to become plus one and you can see this is going to be reduced okay why it's an oxidizing agent it will oxidize others and get reduced okay so that's the meaning yeah they get reduced from plus two to become plus one and failing can okay, oxidize methanoic acid yeah methanoic acid can be oxidized now let's look at tolens region yeah tolens region is similar used to differentiate aldehyde and ketone okay it's an aqueous solution of silver nitrate okay in excess ammonia solution yeah so uh, when warm with aldehyde silver ions okay ag plus become ag Okay, you see from plus one to become zero, you can see that they are going to be reduced also. Why? Because they are oxidizing agent. They will oxidize others, but they will get reduced. Okay, so this is going to be also warmed. Okay, so do remember, tolen and felling, yeah, can oxidize methanoic acid. So coming back, okay, uh, still methanoic acid. Okay, you see they are going to give you carbon dioxide and water. Okay, if you balance it up, okay, you can see that. Okay, uh, I think no need to balance. It's already uh, three oxygen. Okay, everything is balanced. Yeah, so if you just write down like this. Okay, so you can actually warm with felling and tolen uh, solution. Or you can actually use a strong oxidizing agent also can, yeah. So this is going to be oxidation of methanoic acid. And remember, I mentioned about two, yeah. So what is another one, yeah? So uh, we know, okay, methanoic acid, okay, methanoic acid, you can use uh, four regions, okay, four regions uh, to oxidize, okay, uh, methanoic acid. One is going to be failing, okay? You can use uh, tolen, okay? You can use KMnO4, okay? You can use K2Cr2O7, okay? But, okay, we have ethane dioic acid. Ethane dioic acid is something like methanoic acid, but they have two parts over there, okay? So, two parts, okay? So, this one, okay, is something similar, but the H is uh, replaced, like, this part, if you look at it, yeah, it's a methanoic acid. This part is also a methanoic acid, something like that. Okay, therefore, it's a bit complicated, okay? So, if you want to oxidize this, okay, can, okay? But, okay, unlike methanoic acid, okay, you uh, must use, okay, you must use KMnO4 and K2Cr2O7. Cannot use felling, okay, cannot use stolen, okay? Cannot use these two, okay? You need a stronger oxidizing agent. Yeah, so felling and tolen cannot be used to oxidize ethane dioic acid. Ethane dioic acid uh, with sulfuric acid can be used to standardize this. This one we'll look into it later. Okay, with methanoic acid and ethanoic acid, the oxidation forms carbon dioxide and water, which is the uh, same like just now. Yeah, so you should be able to uh, write the equation down. Yeah, so in summary, yeah, in summary, Okay, what we have learned today, yeah, I taught you about the acidity, yeah, acidity of carboxylic acid. And uh, the last, okay, what I taught you is there are two uh, carboxylic acids, okay, that can be oxidized, okay, they are, okay, methanoic acid, okay, methanoic acid can be oxidized and they can be ethane dioic acid. So this is ethane dioic acid. Now, if you want to oxidize, both of them, okay, can be oxidized to become, okay, to become uh, carbon dioxide and water, okay, you can balance it, yeah, but the oxidizing agent, yeah, the oxidation agent, okay, that you need to use are going to be different, yeah, so the oxidizing agent for this, KMnO4 acid 5 K2Cr2O7 acid 5 Okay, you can use stolen. Okay, you can use felling. Okay, 
so they can actually oxidize okay to become this okay can okay but okay for ethane dioic acid okay you must use kmno4 k2cr2o7 can okay but if you use failing and tolan okay cannot okay cannot Okay, that's going to be the summary of today's lesson. But generally, yeah, generally, okay, carboxylic acids, okay, carboxylic acid, okay, cannot be oxidized, cannot, okay, except these two. Okay, I hope you get the lesson for today. Yeah, that's all from me. Okay, any questions before we end? Okay, I hope you understand. Yeah, so uh, this part, okay, uh, I have passed to you, yeah, the uh, the PowerPoint. Okay, please go through it. Okay, uh, two things also I want you to do. Okay, one, uh, go through the PowerPoint. Okay, another one is uh, the worksheet that we did for the benzene and phenol. Yeah, the last part, okay, I have recorded for you. So no point for me to repeat. Yeah, so please uh, use your own time okay, to go through that uh, video yeah, and then complete the uh, worksheet. Yeah, that's it from me, guys, for today. Uh, let me check everyone is here or not. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Number 18 now is missing. Who's after Nathan? Before Owen? Nicholas. Okay, maybe Nicholas uh, Chai is having internet issues. Okay, uh, never mind. Yeah, so that's it from me today. Yeah, see you guys. Yeah, Nicholas is here now. Okay, see you guys. Bye. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir.